This magical text effect is amazing. And while it's cool to know that something exists, it's even cooler if you know how it works. Let's throw a simple H1 tag on the page. We'll add some text and give it some basic styles like a font family, a color, and then center it on the page. We'll wrap a few of the words in their own span tag and set the background to a linear gradient using the fancy pants combo of WebKit background clip text and text fill color transparent. We can get the gradient to show only on our text. Now let's animate the gradient by simply setting our background size to 200% and creating an animation to pan from zero to negative 200% on repeat. We get an infinite looping effect that looks pretty dang sweet on its own. Note that the starting and ending colors for our gradient are the same. We could stop there, but that's not what Linear did. No, they took it a step further. We need to add some sparkly stars. Let's move our magic text into its own span tag to give it some separation from our stars. Don't forget to update the CSS selector as well. We'll add three copies of an SVG star that I source from Font Awesome and nest each of them inside their own span tag. The reason for doing this will be apparent shortly. Step two, style the stars. In our CSS selector for our magic wrapper span, we'll set the display to inline block and the position to relative so our stars will be positioned relative to it rather than the surrounding window. We want our stars to be positioned absolutely using CSS variables for the left and top properties that we'll be updating randomly with JavaScript. Then we'll set our SVG's display to block and set the opacity to 70%. Finally, we'll set the fill value on the SVG path to violet. Step three, animate the stars. The first animation will be the scale animation that occurs on the magic star span tag. All we need this to do is go from a scale of zero up to one and then back to zero. We want this animation to occur pretty quickly, so we'll set the duration to 700 milliseconds. We'll set the timing to ease and the animation fill mode to forwards so it doesn't reset upon completion. The second animation is the rotation animation that we'll apply directly to our SVG. For this animation, we just need it to rotate from zero to 180 over the course of one second. We'll set the timing function to linear and unlike the scaling animation, this one will repeat infinitely. Now here comes the tricky part. We want our stars to be randomly positioned once every second, but we also need to stagger each of them by a small amount of time. Normally, I would attempt to create this stagger with an animation delay, but of course, attempting to align a CSS animation with a JavaScript interval-based repositioning resulted in all sorts of timing issues that just ended up making it look plain bad. So instead, we'll do the whole thing with JavaScript. First, let's create an index variable starting at zero. Let's loop over our star elements and set up a 1000 millisecond interval for each one. In this interval function, we need to do two things. Number one, set our CSS left and top variables to random values within a certain range. Then, remember how we set our scale animation to stop after it gets to the end? Well, we need a way to reset it each time the position changes. To do this, we need to trigger what's called DOM reflow. Now, as a warning, this trick should only be used sparingly as DOM reflow is generally an expensive operation. To trigger this reflow, we'll first set our animation to none. This will override the animation we set in our CSS. Then we'll start the DOM reflow by calling one of several properties that can trigger it. We don't actually need to use the value, we just need to reference it for this to work. Finally, we'll remove our animation override, thus causing our animation to be rerun. Now our animation is working, but you'll notice that our stars aren't being staggered. To fix this, we can simply wrap our interval in a timeout and increment the value for each star. Finally, we don't want to wait for the interval to complete for the first iteration to run, so we'll call our animate function directly inside the timeout as well. Now you can go show your friends how much cooler your text is than theirs. If you thought this was interesting and you want to see more like it, I'd recommend checking out this magical hover effect next.